to us. To us. Hey, that's really good, actually. <laughs> that's really strong, too. Do you remember the first time you talked about leaving the apiary? <laughs> of course. I'd had a shouting match with my mom. I was just angry. No, oh, before that. Before? We had landed the nest on a hilltop, we were stargazing, and you said, Come on, let's go. Hmm? I haven't stopped thinking about it since that day. I think that's what pushed me to dig into the Astro Company archives, which led me to find the coordinates of Source. I wanted to be ready for the day. Wait, wait, when was that? I don't remember. Right at the beginning, you and your mom got in a fight, you hopped into the nest at night, and you picked me up at my house. Was that when we went to the uplands? Yes, the uplands. That's it. Oh, <laughs> Flute, I remember. It was in Frozember. It was super cold out. I was freezing. I just wanted to get back into the nest. That's why I said, let's go. <laughs> and since you didn't respond, I thought you wanted to stay outside. So I didn't push it. I actually caught a beast of a cold that night. Wait, so that means if I hadn't misunderstood that night... It wouldn't have changed a thing. Well, still, that means we would have never known about Source. We would have never come all the way here. Mm, I'm not buying your story. Huh? Why were we stargazing that night? You spent the entire night pointing out this and that constellation to me. Wondering if there might be other inhabitable planets outside of the apiary. Other forms of life. You were completely obsessed with the sky. I was even trying to open up about my issues, but you barely listened. And off you went again, chattering about the comets, the microorganisms, or whatever. So, keeping in mind that you had access to this data about Source, and the fact that you are K. Do you really think you would have never stumbled upon this planet anyway? <sighs> you might be right. <sighs> Was I really that annoying? <laughs> yes. I came to see you that night because I needed someone. I had nowhere else to go. But at the time, I regretted it. I was actually thinking it would be the last time we saw one another. But you insisted. And the following week, you came to see me in the evening with your little homemade cookies. We chatted all night. And I do believe that is when I fell in love. Really? The cookies? That's what made you fall in love? <laughs> in my defense, they were some excellent cookies. But no, idiot, it wasn't the cookies. It was the thoughtfulness. I was sick, my nose was all swollen, croaking voice. I was a mess. And you just showed up, without me asking. I'd only known you for barely three weeks. You took care of me. You baked me some cookies. You stayed and chatted all night, even though it was pretty clear nothing would happen. And you kept on making me laugh, even though it hurt every time I laughed. I hated you. What was it? Did you fall in love, or did you hate me? Well, they're not mutually exclusive. Kinda like salty sweet. Here, give me a taste. It's a whole lot better than Kinovision, isn't it? You're right, but I still find it a little uneventful. That's harsh. When the sun just disappeared beyond the horizon, that was quite a twist. <laughs> Do you think the sun will rise tomorrow? Or is the world going to descend in darkness? A real cliffhanger. Mm, pass me the bottle instead of talking Blute. I think it's empty. Ugh, Blute. Hmm. I still can't believe we made it. Well, it wasn't a big bottle or anything. I meant we made it here, on Source. <laughs> yeah, 
the odds weren't in our favor. Hmm. You mean you would have bet against yourself? Considering the general condition of the ship, the meshing of the patrols, and the distance we had to go? Definitely. So, why did you agree to follow me here? It was our only option, wasn't it? I mean, in order to be together. Yes. There you go. Hmm. Is your chair comfortable? Why? Mine is a bit big, just for myself. Come sit. Hmm. Do you regret it? What? Following me? Why would I regret that? Just look at this sky. Look at us. What is there to regret? I don't know. The people? Don't you miss that? Seeing people? Honestly? No. I did have friends and colleagues. When we left the apiary, at first, I thought I would miss them. I thought that after a while, I would feel a void. I need to see them again. But that hasn't happened yet. Actually, I consider myself pretty lucky to have you. Asking for more would seem egotistical or ungrateful. <sighs> anyway, I don't think I should be telling you these things, or else you'll end up realizing that I don't deserve you. Do you really think that? Should I? Of course not. Are you crazy? You're the best person I know. I'm the one who doesn't deserve you. You're also the best person I know. You know what? I think the world doesn't deserve us. Improve what, exactly? I don't feel like it. You're right. We can do that tomorrow. switch sides hmm. why I don't know I just feel like a change okay Ugh, this is all sticky yeah and whose fault is that uh -huh. I guess I can't really complain <laughs> <laughs> obviously not that'll teach you to pay attention next time Is there any way I can help? Nope. I'm almost done. Okay, but after that, for it to grow, won't we need to water them or anything? Not these ones. The soil looks sufficiently flow-rich for their needs. After all, they were already thriving when we got here. Does that mean we'll have nothing left to do before we have some fat homemade fruits? Yes. We wait. Uh... 
I've never been very good at that. Can you wait in my place? I'm giving you my share of weight. <laughs> okay. I'll let you know when I'm done. I have to warn you, it's very spicy. Perfect. <laughs> That's what you call very spicy? <laughs> okay, you all right? Yeah. <sighs> you really do have baby taste buds. <sighs> what about one-handed? Can you do a one-handed push-up? One-handed push-ups are full of blued. They're for show-offs. Okay, but can you do it? Never tried. As if. You just can't do it. I'm sure I could. Go ahead then. Do it. No, I told you it's full of blute. I don't want to pop my shoulder or throw up my back. Your loss. I mean, I used to find the two-handed push-ups impressive. But I'm starting to get used to them. You'll have to freshen up. Do you want to see something new? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Ready? <clears throat> Back push-ups. Whoa! So, so strong. How could I possibly resist? No one's asking you to resist. That is true. Should we go out and explore? I would love that. I know this place.
I'm taking the lead. Maybe a little flow burst. This building's empty. There has to be something left in here somewhere. Why are you trying so hard to find something? I don't know. Just trying to discover a little bit more about who lived here. Who they were, how they lived. In my opinion, they were very tall and very muscular. Why is that? Look up there. There's workout gear on the shelf. Oh yeah, good eye. Can you grab it? I should manage, even though I'm Averagely tall and moderately muscular. Hey, you're just being modest. that way. not working. Well, no. It doesn't work without flow. Signature move, perfect execution, 10 out of 10. Should we take a closer look? Now, what is this? No idea, but its engine hood would be a great fit on the nest. Is that even possible? Yes. Engine hoods are one of the very few standard pieces in the entire space industry. Someone got all the manufacturers to agree? No. One manufacturer gobbled all the others. <laughs> Same result. All right then, let's go. Huh? Go where? Well, to the nest. Aren't we taking the hood? Uh, yeah. Yes. Let's go. Let me know if I can help. Great oaks from little acorns grow. You know, that is one nice vehicle. Of course. I'm the one who built it. Hmm. Huh. Do you still consider this the same nest as the one you fixed up as a teenager? What do you mean? Well, we just changed the engine hood. I just changed the engine hood. Yes. Okay, you did. But this isn't the first thing you've changed on the nest. And I hope it isn't the last one either. So, my question is... At what point does the nest, the one at the beginning, stop being the nest? Was it the first time you changed a part? Or will it be when you replace the last original part? Assuming you haven't done so yet. Does it happen sometime in between? Afterward? And even then, before you fixed it up the first time, all the spare parts that would eventually make up the nest, were they already the nest? What about you? Are you still okay? Huh? Your body cells are constantly renewing, aren't they? Ever since you were born? 
you probably don't have that many cells in common with the K from the beginning. Actually, you two may not have a single cell in common. So, are you still K? I'll let you ponder that one. K! We need to go home now! You can think about that tomorrow, okay? There's a full moon. There's always a full moon. So? This is gonna feel real good in our batteries. Might be a good time to test the capsules that we put together. First, you'll have to explain to me how they work. It's easy. First, you load up the capsule with flow. Then, you just need to activate it. You know what to do! This one's ready! I'm on it! Ready? Let's do this. There you go. The end. Can we go back the other way? As you wish. You know, technically the Zygoptera aren't quite the same as dragonflies. More like, they're cousins. Have you been mulling this over the whole time? I was trying to rein it in, lest I would sound too... nerdy. But I guess you can't fight your true self. <laughs>
Can't go on like this until dawn. Why not? Glow burst! A job well done. And off we go! Hit him with a flow burst! This one's tough. Maybe try something else. Let's get it over with. And done. See you around. Done and done. Watch out. You almost ran into me. Why were you hanging back anyway? Flow burst. Flow burst. Should've run faster, big guy. Lights are on. This place is totally empty. Maybe beneath the furniture? So, did you find anything? Ugh, a slate, a broken stencil, candy wrappers, and a capless marker. You? No better. A snack bag, plastic figurines, round tip scissors, and two capless markers. I'm wondering which planet is hiding all the marker caps. Let me see those figurines. Oh, <gasps> this is muffin and cupcake. Do you watch that stuff? Hmm. A children's cartoon about a baker's apprentice with magical powers? Okay, first of all, they're not bakers, they're pastry chefs. And also, muffin and cupcake is a cartoon about friendship above all. And it approaches its subject matter with great maturity and sincerity, which can be appreciated at any age. So, are you Team Muffin or Team Cupcake? <laughs> That's a stupid question. I don't need to identify with any particular character in order to appreciate a good series. All right, Cupcake. Cupcake all the way.
See that? Looks like there's some flow hiding underneath. Yeah. Weird. It looks like a flow bridge that's begging to pop out. Like an ingrown hair? <laughs> I guess. Well, in that case, we just need to find giant tweezers. We could also wait for it to pop out on its own. Okay, so you have obviously never had an ingrown hair. I feel like there's something we're missing. Might be flow, perhaps? Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Ugh, it's getting cold. Do you want a warm snuggle? Maybe later. Ready when you are. All set. This one's ready. On it. Shield up. It's done. It's go time. One left. Too late. How about we load our attacks ahead of time? Careful! Now's the time to hit him hard! Love ya! Yes! You block, I'll hit. It's go time. You? Yep, saw that. You make a good team. here. What do we do now? We take in the scenery. Resist. Or else? Oh! It's like that! With the Blute? How did you know that we were here? 
We can get them. What? There's two of us, three of them. Let's get them. Aren't you listening to yourself? Yes. Oh. Are you okay? Oh. I'll handle it. Oh. Ready? Ready. I've stunned him! I protect! That was just a sample! Watch out! Take cover! Oh. Are you okay? Ready to block! He's losing his balance! Oh. Better safe than sorry. Should have left her alone. You go first. No. Ah. Ha. They're up to something. Desperate times. If that doesn't do it, want some more of this? Time to waste. Better safe than sorry. You got it. Got your back. Now, are you okay? Go ahead. One hornet down. I heard a crack. Is that good? Oh, yeah. I've stunned him. Keep it up. I protect, you attack. One hornet down. Perfect. I think we found the key. I've stunned him. Ah! If we keep going like this, we'll knock him out real quick. He's losing his balance. I felt all of his joints cracking. Whatever you want. Now? Oh, that's a hit! After you! Overload! Same as usual? I never thought we'd make it through. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course. 
Don't worry. We fried their circuits. They're not gonna come back online on their own. <sighs> okay. This is definitely the apiary's signature. And they seem to be receiving orders from somewhere nearby. What? That would mean that there's someone else on Source. No, no. I think there's some kind of relay antenna. I would assume that the orders are coming from top. But there's one thing I still don't understand. How could they know that we were here? You think it could have been because of the charging station? Flute! That had to be it. Oh, I feel like such a boron. Hey, we had no idea that they would send out Hornet drones to get us. Oh. So it won't get easier, will it? <sighs> Unlikely. We're gonna need some help. From who? There's no one else on this planet, Kay. You said that the Hornets are receiving orders from the Apiary by way of an antenna nearby. Perhaps we could use it to get in touch with the Apiary. If there is a relay antenna, there must be a communications post, a vid chat, or something of the sort. And who would you call? No, not her. Do you know of anyone else who might have an inside track on the Council's decisions, and who we can trust? Trust? Didn't you see all the Exanova logos everywhere? That's her company! She's clearly knee-deep in this business! She's also your mother. Yeah, well, she's clearly not the most upstanding of the two. We don't need upstanding. We need information. Look, hopefully, she can convey our side to the Council. Convince them to call off the Hornets. <sighs> okay. I'll add the coordinates to the radar. But just so you know, I do not condone this idea. Wanna go in? Wow, what a mess. Just our luck, to stumble upon a landfill. Unless it's some kind of hoarder's house. Who could live in such a place? There's barely enough room to stand. But look, there's a tunnel. You can't possibly. You, where are you going? I'm just looking. It's gonna collapse on you. No way. It's actually pretty so. Ah! Blute, get out of there. Ah! I'm stuck. Pull my feet. Hold on. <sighs> Thank you. All right, just say it. You told me so. Later. Let's get out of here before the domino effect.
being followed. All clear. Still need rest? Of course. It's always useful. There's still more. Flow burst. Flow burst. That was a close one. see what oh so cool a beach looks like the ones on beauty that my mom and I used to go to lucky you oh too bad there's no bridge leading there we could use a dip we could jump what it isn't that high and the water looks deep if we jump straight it probably won't hurt let's do it I'm game seriously of course! You just said that it's safe. Then let's go for it. Well, aren't you jumping? It's kinda high, actually. You're the one who said it wasn't that high. I know. But now that we decided we should jump, it feels like five or six meters higher. Do you want me to jump first? No, no, it's all good. It was my idea. I'll jump first. Okay. You're coming next, right? You're not leaving me alone down there. Of course. As soon as you get out of the way, I'll jump. Well, unless you hurt yourself, or you tell me, no, you, don't go. Okay. I might scream a little. Oh, yeah, I will too. All right. Jump on three. One. Two. Three. <sighs> you didn't jump. I thought I didn't. My own legs betrayed me. Okay. Let's try again together? Okay. Together. You're not gonna chicken out this time. Not if you're holding my hand. Okay. One, two, three! It's so warm. Maybe it's because it's closer to the core. Or maybe it's sheltered from the winds above. Uh, who cares why? Come on, let's get suited up. Ah, this is a lot better.
This is a good place to sit down, isn't it? It's perfect. Okay, that settles it. I am never leaving this planet. <laughs> that wasn't on the cards anyway. I hear you, but they have cream berries growing right on the ground. Isn't that heavenly? I can't wait to cook it. Huh? Why would you cook cream berries? You can just eat cream berries raw. <laughs> Are you telling me you've never had cream berry flambe? Cream berry custard? Cream berry fondue? Stop, stop, stop. Enough. I want it now. What do you. Everything. Everything you just said. I don't think we'll have enough cream berry for. We'll find more. Get to it. It's a cream berry hunt. Cream berries. We're on a paradise island. Of course there's cream berries. I don't feel like going back up. We'll be back. I sure hope so. Hey, what would we have done if there hadn't been a thread to bring us back up? <laughs> you didn't even think about that? Uh, well, neither did you. I was just trusting you. And I'm glad I did. But I am starting to wonder. We would have found a way. Okay, very comforting. You're lucky this little beach slash turned out to be a really great idea. Hmm. This isn't gonna go very far without rust. 